Hello there boys and girls and welcome to day 24 of the MBD Month of Mindset Challenge. Today's challenge is splurge. Now splurge obviously means to spend a bit of money, okay? Now I want you to make sure that whatever you do it's within your means. So a bit of money doesn't necessarily have to be going out and buying yourself a new Ferrari or anything ridiculous like that. It doesn't even have to be buying a model Ferrari. It can just be buying yourself something, even if it's just like an extra pack of biscuits or something like that just to enjoy with your cup of tea over the next few days. It's, you know, it, any form of splurge really. It's just getting yourself a little treat that you that you buy for yourself. And the reason I, offer, I encourage this one is because many of my listeners, not all, but many of my listeners find it extremely difficult to buy things for themselves, to spend money on themselves. They don't think twice about spending money on their kids or their partner or even their friends for their birthdays, but they find it very, very difficult to spend on themselves. And it's not, it's almost as if that's an unconscious thing saying, oh, well, you know, it's they, they deserve this and I don't. Well, no, you do too. You definitely do. And it, there's nothing wrong with treating ourselves from time to time. Again, I think it comes from a, one of those things where we want to stay away from appearing materialistic. So we shy away from actually ever spending money on ourselves or buying ourselves things. And the thing is, between actually treating yourself and being materialistic, there's this giant space, as there is with many of these things. You know, the same as when we talk about being big-headed versus self-deprecation. There's this giant space in the middle that you can occupy. And if you are thinking that way, oh, I just don't want to be big-headed about it, I don't want to be materialistic, chances are you're probably never going to be, okay? That doesn't mean you can't buy yourself anything ever. Now, the thing is, the one, the places I like to go with this is buying yourself something that actually helps make something that you already do that little bit better. So, um, one of the things that we've done around, like now that you know we're around the house a, a whole lot more, there's more mess being made in the house. One of the things we've splurged on in the last you know, couple of weeks since the whole lockdown situation occurred is a new Hoover, a new vacuum cleaner. We've gone for a cordless one, so now when I'm hoovering the house, instead of plugging it in, replugging it, and all the rest of that, it's a case of okay, I've got this nice cordless thing that I can carry around with me. The weird thing is I'm so used to kind of hoovering with one hand and then grabbing the cord and then moving and all the rest of that, that I still reach for a cord that's not there. Yeah, that was actually quite a reasonably big splurge in terms of in terms of the financial side of it, but the return on the investment on that is gonna be fantastic. And it makes, it makes hoovering for me a much more enjoyable experience. I slap my headphones in, listen to podcasts, like the only time I'm doing it right now. And, um, yeah, there's just there's loads of things like that. The other thing that I've splurged on is I spent £30 on four jigsaws. Um, so those jigsaws will be coming, hopefully, over the next few days. In fact, if they could, if one, if they could come today, that would be great because that would be a great thing to do at the weekend. I find, again, one of the best stress-relieving things for me is doing a jigsaw puzzle. Really, really love it. So I treated myself to a few jigsaws. And there's, that's, you know, each one of those jigsaws was about £7 each or something. And they're going to give me probably more than seven hours each worth of time. It usually takes me probably about 10 hours to do a thousand piece jigsaw. So that's a really good return on investment for me. Um, another one, I didn't buy myself this. It's around here somewhere. But my wife bought me this pen for our... Oh, it's not in there. It's in my notepad. Um, she bought me a, a pen for... Um, for our wedding and at the time I actually didn't do much writing except for when I was writing songs but that's really come into its element as I became a coach because I make an absolute ton of notes so I like to have nice notepads and I like to have a nice pen if you like to drink coffee buy yourself some nice coffee beans or buy yourself a really nice mug that like you know feels good in your hands and you kind of just really enjoy that experience more buying something again it can just be something that costs a couple of pounds it can be something that costs a bit more than that if you have the means to but think about something that's really gonna enhance um, enhance what you do but ultimately give yourself permission for the fact to buy it and remind yourself that you're worth it. You deserve it. You deserve a treat. And you don't have to wait around for that treat to come from anybody else. You can get that treat for yourself. So that's it. Um, I'd love to hear what you actually, what you spend it on. And I'd love to hear what you, you know, especially if it's one of those ones that is enhancing a hobby that is already there. And I'll be back tomorrow.